We're here today at Hemsworth Farm in Dorset, where we're looking at the biodiversity trials being run by AgriEpi and their teams with Sophie as the lead. We are part of an Innovate UK funded trial called Biodiversity Monitoring 24-7. We're going to be digitally monitoring biodiversity over 12 months. It's really important to me on this farm because it's the whole ecological engine. We use this data to help the experts to really understand the ecosystem by being able to build up a huge database of information over 24 hours of the whole cycle of the, the pollinators themselves. But this funding is part of DEFRA's Farming Innovation Programme. It's really early level investigation, research of what could be done using technology to monitor biodiversity in agriculture. Without that biodiversity, we wouldn't have pollinators. Without pollinators, we couldn't grow things. That affects every aspect of the agricultural sector and it affects the food that's on your plate. The insect life is really important for bats, birds, and also for integrated pest management, and it also helps yields. It's a massive part of the responsibility to understand how your farming methods impact on the natural world. So you can only do that if you know what you have. So four years ago, we decided we wanted to establish a baseline. We commissioned Dorset Wildlife Trust to start doing biodiversity surveys on the farm. I'm the human side of biodiversity monitoring. The trouble is people like me tend to be rather expensive and there's not many of us. So we're looking at other ways of measuring biodiversity. I walk along the transects, I take photographs, I record what I see, I do some sweep netting to try and capture what I can't see. We have three digital methods of monitoring biodiversity on the farm. We're here today to um, deploy our insect monitoring devices, uh, which works on a bioacoustic analysis. The devices are built with a microphone and it will pick up the wing beak frequency of pollinators, in particular honeybees and bumblebees. We put them throughout different land uses around the farms and we get real-time data coming through to us on the cloud. We'll be monitoring that data all the way through throughout the project, generating monthly reports that we'll be able to share with the wider team. So we are taking pictures of flowers on farm walks and conducting moth surveys using the smartphone app iNaturalist. This is an easy way to collect pictures of flowers, insects, trees and shrubs. It geolocates, timestamps and produces evidence for biodiversity records. So it really kind of revolutionises the rate at which we can collect and analyse data. And then there's Chirrup, who have already collected their data, who do birdsong. So we're monitoring the sounds over a period of time to identify the animals. The results are in from Chirrup they have found 64 different species of birds over the three-week period that they were monitoring. About 15 of those are red-listed species. The next steps of the project is to take all that data and to validate it and to build up that huge picture of what's happened in this environment. And then we can present to the, the farmer uh, the gap analysis, the, the recommendations of what to plant next which ones are really effective and accurate and which ones still need further work on them. We all have to work together to hone it so that it does become a fantastic tool. AgriEpi has played the part of facilitating the project, bringing people together and helping to make funding available. Uh, we provide the infrastructure to bring different businesses and agricultural sectors into one place so we can get the right people in the right place to make this all happen. It's great to work with other innovators within this field um, in this project so that we can all learn together. And coming up with a workable solution that all farmers and all landowners can adopt in the future. We hope going forward that we can replicate that on a wider basis and we can produce tools that allow people in their own area to monitor the diversity of the environment there and the integrated approach of different techniques will mean that we can make sound decisions um, to increase biodiversity for the future. And also to making sure that we get a sustainable future for the next generation of people. If you'd like to get involved in this or find out more what's happening in this project, please visit the AgriEpi website.